1990, an Italian geologist named Angelo Pitoni would find an unusual stone while visiting Sierra Leone, a mysterious artifact that has baffled all who have studied it. A local Fuller chief was said to have given it to Pitoni, a blue stone with mysterious white lines upon its surface. After returning to Europe, Pitoni took the stone to the Institute of Natural Sciences of Geneva and then University La Sapienza in Rome for further analysis. To his surprise, tests revealed that it was not a turquoise or indeed anything that could officially be identified. Furthermore, the blue stone didn't correspond to any known mineral. But the most intriguing thing is its color. Researchers still do not understand how the stone has acquired or retained its color. This even though several universities and laboratories have analyzed the artifact at great length. It seems its color remains a mystery. Mysteriously, at the University of Utrecht, the stone underwent several tests with use of strong acids, but none of the acids could affect the stone. It was even heated to over 3000 degrees Celsius, yet its composition wasn't altered. When a small piece of the stone was pulverized and viewed under the microscope, it curiously lost its color. Now known as the Sky Stone, according to analysis, an amazing 77.17% of the stone is somehow made of pure oxygen. The remaining percentage was divided between carbon, calcium and another unknown element. When researchers crushed a piece of the sky rock and mixed it with acetone, hexane and methylene and then enhanced the extractions with ultrasound, they were eventually able to locate an organic compound that is currently unknown to science. Dated at 55,000 years old, just what is the sky stone? How could it possibly be made mostly of oxygen? Is this stone a past remnant left by a once advanced civilization? Or maybe its origins are not even local to Earth. Amazingly, it seems that Pitoni's sky stone is not unique. There has in fact been similar finds in other places of the Earth, most notably Brazil. The other sample of sky stone was submitted to GRS Swiss Labs for testing and analysis by an anonymous dealer. Intrigued, American artist and designer Jared Collins tried to buy the small cutaway piece from the dealer so he could study it further but the dealer refused to sell it. He wouldn't even name a price for the larger full stone. It seems there are indeed other exhibits of this curious stone made mostly of pure oxygen in existence, yet the mystery surrounding their makeup and origin persists to this day.